get to the motherboard. So let's get that ribbon cable unattached. And this computer has a little circuit board here that needs to be removed, which we'll do now. Not all computers have the circuit board. This was where the power buttons are. I'm just going to take a screwdriver and just pop up the side a little bit and the whole plate should come right out. There we go. Now we're going to start removing screws from the top plate. Any screw that we see that appears to be holding the top part of the case to the bottom part of the case. And we're going to do our best to find every one. And we'll know if we miss one because the cases won't come apart. And now we want to turn it over and remove any other screw that appears to be holding the two cases together. Now, in generally, in most computers, most of these case screws are going to be about the same size. So you might be able to keep them all in the same pile. And you'll see in the case study videos, some laptops have markings next to each screw hole that tells you the size of screw that goes in there, and that makes it really easy for us. This computer doesn't, so we'll have to keep track of the screws with a system. And when it looks like you have all the screws out, try to pry the two cases apart. I don't have long nails, but I generally like to use my fingernail and kind of go along the edge and just find some entry point where there's already a little bit of a opening there a gap that you can get your nail in and kind of bring it all around and try to get these two cases apart remember don't force anything and it looks like this is being held in by something. So let's check for screws. And yes, I forgot one screw on the top part of the case. Let's see what happens once we get that out. It's coming apart much easier now. So I'm glad that was in the video because I want to, you guys to know if it looks like it's not coming apart easy, there's probably a screw holding it in somewhere that you missed. Now we have access to the motherboard here. Let's put that off to the side, and we'll attempt to remove the motherboard now from the top part of the case. This big black device here is just the speakers, and that attaches with a connector to the motherboard. Now, certain screws on the motherboard are labeled, and that's what I'm pointing to now. They have letters next to them. Usually there's white arrows or there could be letters, like on this computer, that's basically telling you what screws you need to remove to get the motherboard off. The motherboard has many screws if you look at it from the top, but you only need to take a few of them off to get the motherboard off. And it's usually marked on the motherboard by white arrows. In this case, it was marked with the letter PA. Now this little piece here is just an extension for the battery. Now we're going to remove all the screws on the motherboard marked with PA. And when it looks like we have them all, try to pull the motherboard out of the case gently. And you'll start to feel where the pressure is coming from if there's any other screws holding it in. And what this is here is the processor and heatsink and CPU fan. It usually all comes off in one big device and snaps onto the motherboard with a cable there. And if you notice those numbers, one, two, three, right next to the screw holes, 
that's usually an indicator, and it will be on most laptops, an indicator of what screws hold in the heat sink over the processor so you don't tighten them all down in the wrong way. It actually is a guide. It helps you as a guide. And again, once you think you have all the screws, just slowly pull up the motherboard. And you'll start to feel it if you missed one. And this should be the last one there. And just kind of jiggle it. Until it starts to come loose. And it pops right out. And that plastic piece I pulled out is just the uh, holder for the PCMCIA slot. I'm going to lay something down so there's no static electricity on the motherboard when I place it down. That's just uh, an adapter that I pulled off there for the power jack. And let's clean it while we have it out. I always take the opportunity to clean the pieces when I get them out. And I use the paint brushes for this. You're not going to have too many chances with this, these laptops where you're going to get down to motherboard level. So take advantage of it while you can and make sure you get it all clean. And since you have the fan out for the processor, blow it out with compressed air. Now let's take the bottom part of the case and clean that off as well.